Welcome to PC Mac. Today we are talking about a free video surveillance software that is for Windows. So let's do it. First of all, let's go ahead and open the Google Chrome and open the website. The name of the website is Contact Cam from contaway.com as you can see contaway.com contacam.html so what you need to do is just click on downloads to download the software and if you want to donate any money to them you can just go ahead and go here donation via license and you can donate it from here so it's ad free software as you can see free from ads so if you like to donate something to them you can just go ahead and donate it from here let's go ahead and click on download and then click on the latest version at English and then we need to download the contact cam setup file setup.exe let's click on it to download and it's the download is begin now on the bottom left corner as you can see it will take a moment to download so the download is finished let's go ahead and install the software uh, by double clicking on it and run the file yes let me just close the other window agree and it will create a, a start menu and shortcuts next next is looking for Microsoft Visual C++ if it's already there installed on your computer it will take in it and if it's not installed it will download it from the internet and install it on your computer and as I already have that package the setup is finished and you can see run contact cam 9.0.1 let's click on finish to open the software and as you can see it's open and uh, with all the instructions make sure your video capture device is plugged in and drivers are installed so if I go here into camera on the top it have the network IP camera and then the other option is remove camera the interface is really easy to understand it's uh, don't have any uh, annoying options so you can easily go through it and the second point is from the camera when you select the device you want to use as I already show you from the camera for network camera supply host name and the IP address port and camera type and then follow the camera basic settings dialog so we can set up the camera from here the global settings and then we can see the feed on local address local host 8800 or here with the computer name and the port 8800 so the, it working on port 8800 so let's check and uh, try to install a USB camera first of all I have set up my USB camera so it's just uh, if the drivers are available you just need to plug the camera in and it will take it let's check whether it's working or not so the camera is plugged in now as you hear the sound let's check it's working or not by going into camera and as you can see it's detected the camera Wimco USB 2.0 PC camera let's just click on it and check so it's done it's connected so let's check what all the options are so here are the options motion detection surveillance so when a motion is there it will start taking the videos from here motion detection okay and then uh, you can set the name let's uh, do it as a USB camera and then you can select your language from here it support all these languages and then the storage key files for one month you can select one day or all the options are right here then you can also select the notifications like if the camera got failure you can just it will send us a full video or a small saved small video or a snapshot whatever you want you can select from here 
let's just click on here to subject server and we can establish the email address and we can set up the name the, uh, this will uh, take in the name date time and note we just need to put the settings here we will check it later on let's go and cancel it and click on ok so the camera is set up now you can maximize and minimize this by double clicking on it and as you can see no donation see help menu so it's totally free software but if you like to donate something you can just go and do that and then we can just select from here the zones that's not really required to record here you can just click on record and it will start recording it's already recording and then you can just select the frame timings from here and you can always select the source like disable it and enable it again and here are the camera basic settings if you want to again open them let's go ahead and open them from here to select the options again so let's go ahead and click on cancel and try to set up a different camera now let's try to connect a network camera I'm using my Android phone as my network camera so let's go ahead and connect it so what we need to do is just go ahead and click on camera and then click on network IP camera from here you can just go ahead and put the HTTP address of your camera so my HTTP address is 192.168.1.98 that's my address and uh, I don't have any username and password for this particular software if you have that please go ahead and enter that right here so then you just need to click on OK to connect to the camera let's go ahead and do that OK and it's trying to connect let's check let's check the settings one more time might be there is something wrong over there let's try to close it and then camera again network IP camera 192.168.1.98 that's the IP address and the port number is 8080 you can use this port option as well either you can type it here or you can just take it from here and then click on OK and as you can see it's connected now it's asking for the basic settings again if you want to use it you can use it now just go ahead and click on OK and maximize this window let me just put it aside so both the cameras are connect one is the USB camera and other one is the network camera as you can see now what we'll go ahead and check uh, we are going to check the settings how we can send us uh, like send the live notification to our email address how we can set up that let's go ahead and do that for that what we need to do is uh, click on this icon let me just show you the network camera settings now as you can see when we receive an email when a camera failure occur we can also send notifications like recording events with minimum time between recording events messages like we can select the option in seconds from here or we can just only send the live snapshots from here so let's take uh, to send try to send events within minimum time between recording events manage messages sorry in like uh, 10 seconds so we can check that what we need is click here what we need that uh, we need to have a full video or small video or a snapshot or snapshot plus full video something like that so let's go with snapshot then we need to select the settings click here so first of all as you see it's asked for the two email address so you can put your email address or any email address that you want it's a two email address 
so let's just check let me try to put my details here so I have put all the information here uh, regarding the email send configuration so whenever a camera failure occur or in every 10 seconds it send us a snapshot of the camera so let's click on test to test the settings and once I click on test it start testing the camera and as you can see mail sent successfully please press enter to exit so let's go to click enter and click OK so the settings are successfully done let's click on OK so once the camera is successfully set up and the settings are done for the emails that is right here all the settings are successfully done let's try to open the email it's right here and you can see that we have received lots of email with the live snapshots let me just try to open one and show you the live snapshot are right here so you can configure your email notifications from here as you can see I have received all those emails when I turned on the live screenshot now I have just turned it off that's why I'm not receiving the emails so you can do it by yourself as well let's just go ahead and close these windows and delete these emails let's change the settings now to camera failure so we will not receive that much of emails and click on ok it's done so guys that summarizes the end of contact cam uh, and you can also go ahead and install contact cam on your computer and try to use it it's only for windows pc so you just need to use Windows computer while using contact cam and if you have any questions you can write them in the comment section so I'll try to answer them and if you like this video please hit the like button and subscribe to my channel thank you for watching bye bye take care have a nice day